right, welcome back to Lifestyle, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I have a new heat check theme. Thanks to my good friend Cole Johnson for that. And he also did my favorite part one. So that will be debuting today as well. The screen here, you see the Philadelphia 76ers on your screen. Why do you see the Philadelphia 76ers on the screen? Because the Philadelphia 76ers are currently filth in ease with a 20 and 12 record, ladies and gentlemen. These numbers are not eye popping whatsoever. They are only 19th in, in the league in scoring at 111.7. 28th in rebounding per game at 40.4, 18 in assists at 24.3. Second, however, in opponents points per game at 107.7. That is a four point difference. However, though, the Philadelphia 76ers have won eight in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, you go back a month ago to November 25th, which is 16 games, as you can see on your screen, as 14 games here. The Philadelphia 76ers are 11 and 3 in in a month span. 11 and 3, which includes the eight in a row that we're going to dive into more of in a bit. But as you can see, back on November 25th, around Thanksgiving time, they won three straight, beat my Orlando Magic twice, and a victory of the Atlanta Hawks. Before they lost, they. They were small three game road trip at Cleveland, at Memphis, and at Houston. Before they just worked out winning eight in a row, which includes Christmas Day game against the New York Knicks. This season, Joel and B is putting up monstrous numbers 33.1 points per game with 9.7 rebounds a game and four and a half assists a game. Doing a hell of a job doing it during this time. Running mate James Harden. Also doing his thing, 21.8 points per game, 6.4 rebounds a game, 11.1 assists a game. But what we most people when it comes to James Harden, it's not about the regular season, it's about the postseason. But hey, you still got to play the regular season. So I'm going to give the man his props on this one because he is playing his ball. You see, he's playing ball as usual, but he is playing ball. And then the third member of the group is Tyrese Massey, 22.9 points per game, three and a half rebounds a game, 4.4 assists a game. So those are your triple three guys right there, and they doing their thing. With Philly, as I showed you earlier, going back to a month ago on November November 25th, they won three straight, and then they lost three straight, as you can see on your screen right here. But after that, it's been eight in a row. They beat the Lakers on December 9th, beat the Charlotte Hornets on December 11th, the Sacramento Kings on December 13th, the Golden State Warriors December 16th, the Toronto Raptors December 19th, Detroit Pistons December 20th, the Los Angeles Clippers December 23rd, and on Christmas Day at Madison Square Garden, defeating the New York Knicks. Okay. And in doing so, and just doing this eight game win streak that we're going to focus on here, they have they are, the 76 are scoring 120 points per game. They are shooting 49.3% from the field and 41.1% from three point range. These dudes are playing some good basketball. And as you can see here, let's go back. As you can see here, they beat the Lakers by dropping 133. They beat the Charlotte Hunters by dropping 131. They dropped 123 against the Sacramento Kings, 118 to the Golden State Warriors, 104 to the Toronto Raptors, 113 to the Detroit Pistons, 119 to the Los Angeles Clippers, and 119 again to the New York Knicks. That's how that has been going on. So, and again, they are scoring 120 points per game while shooting 49% from the field and 41.3 point range. But you, we all know who the stars of this run is and the star of this team. It is James Harden and Joel B. And the duo doing this eight-game winning streak. These are the numbers from the eight-game winning streak. They, are, they have combined for 57.3 points per game. They are shooting at combined 51.4% from the field. 43.9% from three-point range, grabbing 16 rebounds and do additional 16 assists a game. That is the duo of James Hart and Joel B doing this eight-game win streak that they have going on as of right now. For us, individual-wise, Joel B has been a monster doing this eight-game streak, scoring 35.6 points per game, shooting 55.7 from the field, shooting 52.4% from three-point range, and while averaging 10 rebounds a game doing this eight-game win streak. 
He's a value a double double. He's efficient from the floor, efficient from three point range, and he's showing his dominance during his eight game winning streak. This is what we want to see. And just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, my play, my lights out playmaker of the week is Joel B because of what he has been doing during his eight game winning streak, what he has done thus far within the last two games, both against the Knicks. And the Los, Los Angeles Clippers, Joel and B has been balling his ball, his tail off. And the, the Philadelphia Sentences are very thankful that he has continued to get better, continue to work on his game. His running mate, James Harden, on the otherwise, during this same stretch, his eight game winning streak, he is scoring 21.6 points per game, shooting 45% from the field, shooting just below 41 from three. Grabbing six rebounds a game and dishing out just about 13 assists a game. James Harden is being that consensual scoring guard when he needs to be and also being a point guard when he needs to be. As you can see here, averaging close to 13 assists during his eight-game winning streak is showing you that he's getting others involved, not just him scoring, but he's getting others involved as well. So when you have to like what you're seeing from the foot up at 76, it's been very impressive. They got themselves fifth in the East right now. They are playing some good ball. Let's see, can they keep it up? Because the next few games here should be interesting. Tomorrow night, they are in the nation's capital when they take on the Washington Wizards. Then on the 30th, they head down to New Orleans to take on Zion Wilson and the New Orleans Pelicans. New Year's Eve on December 31st, they head to OKC with a showdown with Shea Gillis Alexander, who's been balling his butt up as well. And then after New Year's Day, January 2nd, the first game of the New Year of 2023, they will be seeing Zion Williamson and the Pelicans again, this time in Philadelphia. And after that, two days later on January 4th, the Indiana Pacers come walking in. And after that, January 6th, the Chicago Bulls come walking in. Realistically, I can see them getting past. The Wizards won that streak to nine. They'll probably lose at the Pelicans, so they won streak will end at nine. But I can see them winning the other four. So they could be on a roll going. They could be on a road. They can still be on a roll going into the new year and after the new year. Philly's playing hot. Philly's playing good ball. I have no questions about it. I am, I am like what I'm seeing. I am enjoying what I'm seeing. Let's see, can they keep it up as of right now? So that's it for this. This is your heat chat with the hood up here. 76 a break. We'll be back. We're going to hang out a figure.